in this video i'm going to show you how you can install the lineage os 20 on your oneplus 70 device which is based on android 13 and i know this is the installation video after a very long time so i will make sure to be consistent from now on of course so the only thing required to install this rom on your oneplus 70 device will be an unlocked bootloader so if you haven't done this yet so there'll be a link on top right corner of this video just go there unlock your bootloader then continue with this video and as fair warning before starting this video if you haven't back up your important data so this is the time you should do that because installation of this process will erase every data on your device so make sure to back up everything that is important for you so that you can restore it later after the end of this video so without wasting for time let's head straight to the video so my name is Rohit and you're watching SnapTech so let's get started so first go to the link in description below for the ROM file and download the files which I am showing in this video so first download this Lineage OS 20 file by clicking over here then download the dtbo.image file by clicking over here then download the recovery file by clicking over here and at the end download the vb meta file by clicking over here and wait until all this file gets downloaded until then move on to the second link where you can download the google apps for your lineage os and it doesn't come with the google app installed so once you open the sites of this google app you will be on this kind of website so just click on this lineage os 20 android 13 as we are installing android 13 rom and click on the mind the g apps it will take you to another website so over here scroll down until you find mind the gapps 13 arm 64 and just click on download and then click on click here to start download and at the end just click on primary download and wait until the entire file gets downloaded and, and once everything is downloaded just copy it or cut it in the same folder so that it will be easier for you to navigate so as you can see i have downloaded all the files and i have kept it in a separate folder so once everything is downloaded you need to move on to your mobile device to boot into fast boot mode so it's very simple to boot into the fast boot mode as i told you with the start of the video you need an unlock bootloader so first just turn off your device so once your device is turned off just press and hold volume up volume down and power key all at once to boot into fast boot mode and as you can see i have booted into my fast boot mode and here it's like it written unlocked that means my bootloader has been unlocked so after this you need to connect your device to your pc through a usb so i'll do that right now so once it's done just leave your phone aside and move back to your pc and once you're on your pc again just click on the search icon and top and type in cmd and press enter after that you need to just check whether your device is connected in fastboot mode or not for that you need to type in fastboot space devices and press enter and if you see some error like this it's just because you don't have platform tools installed so there will be a link to that as well in the description so i've already downloaded that i won't do it again so i will show you that i have downloaded the platform tools folder just copy it in the same folder and extract it over here and once you have copied your platform tools folder on your lineage os folder where we've kept all the files just copy and paste each and every file into that folder or just cut and paste it's your choice so i'll do that right now so as you can see i've selected all the files that are required to install this rom so i'll just press ctrl plus x on my keyboard to cut it and go to my platform tools folder and paste all the files over here so once everything is cut or copied just click on the search icon and type in cmd and once your cmd window open over here and type in fastboot devices press enter and as you can see our phone has been detected in fastboot mode and if you still can't see fastboot mode detected on your pc even after doing this there will be a link on top right corner of this video just go there and watch that video and follow it along after that your phone will definitely be detected in your pc so once it's done once your phone has been detected in fastboot mode you need to type in these commands as i do right now so you have to write next fastboot flash First we're gonna flash the DTBO file so I will write DTBO space DTBO.img as it's an image file and press enter and as you can see our DTBO has been installed next we have to install VB meta so we will write fast boot flash VB meta space VB meta dot IMG press enter and as you can see vb meta has also been installed so the last thing we want to install on our fastboot will be our recovery so i will type fastboot flash recovery 
space recovery dot img and press enter and as you can see even recovery is getting installed on our device so once recovery is installed and everything else is installed you need to move back to your device once again so you will be on this kind of screen once you install everything so just use the volume down key to reach to this recovery option recovery mode and press power key to boot into the recovery mode And once you are on this recovery, Lineage OS recovery, before installing the ROM, we will need to wipe everything. So we will go down by using the volume down key. Then I will use power key to select it and then power key to select it again. And then volume down and power key to format my data. So once everything has been wiped, just click on this arrow on top right, top left and go back and then press volume down, just pow press power key on apply update. And then press power key again from apply from ADB. And once you're on ADB sideload mode, you need to move back to your PC once again. So over here on the same CMD window, we can write in ADB devices. Press enter. And as you can see, our device has been detected in ADB mode in our PC. So we can proceed with the next step. And if you don't see this there might be some issue with the platform tools or something like that so make sure you may definitely install the platform tools on your device so once your device has been detected in adb sideload mode you need to type in this command adb sideload space and then you need to copy the name of this exact room file which you can see here so we'll just right click we'll click on show more option then we'll click on rename and press Ctrl plus C to copy the name of this file. Then open your CMD window again and press Ctrl V to paste the file name. And it's a zip file so we'll write .zip at the end to complete this file name. And press enter. So as you can see over here our room installation has been started and you can also see my device connected on the right bottom corner of the screen during this entire installation process. So it will take some time to install this room on your device so you need to just sit back and relax until it gets completed. And if you're watching this video and if you are enjoying till now, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content like this one. So after 47% you might see this return value as total XFR 1.00x. It doesn't matter because if it's completed after 47% that's some glitch but it doesn't matter. Your ROM is installed so you don't have to worry about anything. So after this it's optional whether you want to just boot into your system or you want Google Play Store and other Google Play services apps installed on your device. And if you want to install the Google apps. As you, as you can see you have downloaded the mind the g apps already so you need to install that right now so to do that you will need to move back to your phone so once you're on your phone just use the volume down key again to reach to this apply update option then press power key to go ahead then press power key again from apply from adb option and now you need to just sideload the g apps part as well so i will write adb space sideload space then i will copy the name of this file just like i did the rom file Show more option, rename Ctrl C to copy, then open the command promote window, press Ctrl plus V to paste, then it dot zip at the end because it's a zip file, and press enter, and wait for it to get side loaded as well. So as you can see, you will get this option such as signature verification fail install anyway. So just use the volume key to reach yes and press power key to select it, and it will proceed. So once everything has been installed, so our ROM has been installed, Google Apps has been installed. So we can proceed to reboot to our system now. So I'll press the power key. So it's the first boot, so it may take some time to boot into the system. So you don't have to worry and you need to just sit back. As you can see, we have booted into our system. So I'll just click on start and I will do the entire setup. 
and as you can see we have booted into our system and it's completely installed so i'll go to the settings now and i will go down and i will go to about phone and as you can see android version 13 you can see lineage os version 20 and android version we are running on is 13 so if we just go to one so we'll create this animation for android 13 so yeah this is pretty much it so this is how you can install the lineage os 20 based on android 13 on your oneplus 70 device so if you enjoyed this video please press that like button and if it reaches 100 likes of course i will release a full length review video of this exact rom so that you will come to know you should install this rom or not because even i installed it right now so it will take some time to test it out and if you are new to my channel if you are interested in tech related content like this make sure to subscribe and please make sure to turn on that bell notification to get notified every time i upload something new so this is it for this video i'll meet you in the next one snap tech signing out